Good afternoon, one and all. I am Udayshri, working as assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. In today's class, let us learn how to make a 3D model using AutoCAD. So, whatever the figure that we are finding here is the same figure that we are going to make uh, in AutoCAD. So, here initially, before we make uh, a 3D model, what we do is firstly we'll set the units and we'll set the limits. So. Uh, after setting the units and limits, what we'll do is we'll make a 2D sketch. So we'll just make this front part and then we'll extrude this part. Means we'll extrude this 2D sketch. After extruding this 2D sketch, we'll make a rectangle and we'll extrude this rectangle in vertical direction. Once the extrusion is done, then we'll shift the planes to this uh, front part and then we'll make a chamfer and also a circle. And similarly, we again shift the plane to this part, uh, this view, and again we'll make a hole. So, like this, by shifting the planes at different views, we'll make the 3D model. Okay, so now let us enter into the AutoCAD uh, software and let us make this model and see. So, so this is how the uh, AutoCAD uh, looks once you click on the icon. So, let me enter into the AutoCAD 3D modeling software. See, this is the icon. You have to click on the arrow mark which is beside this icon. Then you will get the option called new. Go to new and click on ACAD. Open it. Okay. First, fix the units. Units. So, here it is taking as inches by default. Let us change to millimeter click ok next to click the limits limits so uh, the lower left limit is 0 comma 0 and higher limit is 100 comma 100 100 comma 100 so this is how we have fixed the units now what we have to do is we have to zoom the area on which we are going to work so Z enter and A enter. So, before we start making a sketch, let us fix this view. Means you, you have to first uh, make sure that in which view you want to draw this. Means whether you want to may start with front view, top view, side view or which type of view. So, here what I want is I want to make a model in front view. So, I am fixing the coordinates to front view. So, this is my front view. So, here whatever the things I am finding here are useful for making 3D modeling. But before I go to 3D modeling, I want to make a 2D sketch. So, for that what I will do is I will go to this workspace switching option. I will click on this arrow mark and then go to drafting and annotations. So, once if I go here, click on polyline. Okay. So, let me start the line at origin 0 comma 0. See, as the line is moving at different angles, as I want to make a sketch at 90 degrees angle, means all the lines should be either parallel or perpendicular to each other. So, that's why what I'll do is I'll on ortho and the shortcut for ortho is F8. So, let me make a 2D sketch first. And now, uh, means first let us make a dimension with 20. And now again let us take it as 60. And then again 20. Then again 10. Again 10. And it's 40. Then again 10. Now move the cursor towards the side where you want to connect it see as i want to close this 2d sketch what i do is c enter so this is how i can close the view okay so you see you click on this the entire thing is getting selected okay so if it is like this it means you have made a good model if not means if you are not finding this closed figure it means you have not closed it properly okay from this 2d view let me sketch to 3d model so this is 3d modeling 
so uh, in order to see the extrusion what we have to do is let us keep it in some isometric view like this so we have different isometric views let us keep in any type of isometric view or else you can keep it in the front view after extruding also you can look at the isometric view so let me first extrude this figure see so i have selected this and i want to extrude this so it is asking for the height of extrusion and the height of extrusion here is 40 so now let me show you in 3d view see i got some component in 3d view right you can see it in different views okay so like this you can look at different views and you can even see it see the component in 3d shaded view like this okay so i have extruded it now what i'll do is i'll shift the plane to this top surface i'll make a rectangle here and then i'll extrude this so for that what i'll do is i'll keep this uh, screen on the top view okay so this is the top view so here what i'll do is i see i have some option called as ucs click on this option okay now you can shift the plane so before shifting let us keep it in uh, 2d so that you can uh, look at the figure properly so in that in this direction i'm fixing s and and in this direction i'm fixing y okay now i can make a 2d sketch so uh, let me take some rectangle so i'm keeping here and uh, the width is 15 uh, so tab this and make it minus 15 and uh, the length here should be 60 so this is how we can make some a 2d sketch so this is a 2d sketch so let me show you in our isometric view so this is a sketch which i have made now what i am doing is i am extruding this okay so extrude this uh, at a height of 55 okay let me show a shaded view see this is a component which i have got okay now what i'll do is i'll shift the uh, plane to the front view again use ucs again keep this in 2d view keep this in front view now fix your cursor here so i am taking this as x and this as y okay so now what i can do is i can make a circle here so in order to make the circle here i have got some dimension the circle should be at a distance of 20 from middle and also it should be at center from this line so here you see i could not pick any mid points so for that what i have to do is type a ds go to uh, object snap you check whether you if all the things are uh, uh, means whether you have tick mark on all the things or not yes i have tick mark now i can click okay if it is not on then also it will create some issues like you could not you cannot pick the points see i can pick the points now so here is the exact mid point so it is showing as 30 click on this and from here it should be at a distance of 12 point Oh, sorry 20 so i am making it at a distance of 20 okay so now here i'll make a circle and uh, circle is of diameter 20 that is the radius 10 click on this so now it's uh, radius of 
okay so this is how we made the model now let us remove this reference lines okay i have got some circle now uh, you can either go for making a uh, triangle here with the dimensions of 50 by 15 let me show you how to make this take a line start here make it 15 take another line start at the same point make it 15 okay now off ortho option and you see you can you can join the point see like this type enter okay let me show you the shaded view now now let me show this in isometric so here at the back see at the back you have some chamfer you have some circle but the thing is you see circle is a closed one but if you look at these lines these lines are not closed so what you have to do is you have to join all these lines so for that click on this this and this join type join now you see when you bring cursor over here it will just act as a closed figure now click on this figure click on this figure type extrude so you can extrude to the length you want you can extrude to any length okay let me show you the shaded view so it got extruded now what i'll do is i'll remove these two parts from this part for that i'll use some boolean operation so this is subtract so this is the object this is the object which i want to subtract so now you look at this figure i have subtracted the components uh, see from this part i have sub uh, subtracted this part and this part okay so now after this what i'll do is see you have got till here and after this we have to make a, a hole on this surface the top surface of the part so here here i have to make a hole so what i'll do is i'll again shift the uh, plane to this this part means this view so for that again i'll use ucs so before that let me bring the component to top view like this let me keep this in 2d wireframe use use i ucs option place the cursor here fix x in this direction and y in this direction okay so now let us make some hole so here they have given us some dimensions in order to make the hole the hole should be of a diameter 10 and at a length of 12.5 at the center so here as it is 60 the center will be at 30 so this is 30 it is showing and it from here let me on ortho from here uh, it's 12.5 okay so this is the point where i have to make the circle so go to circle option this is the circle option this is the circle option place it at this point uh, he is asking for radius radius is 5 now remove this okay now let us look at the shaded view let us look at the isometric view see we have kept uh, oh mm so while fixing this we have not fixed it properly so what i'll do is i'll go back so actually we have not made the plane exactly on the top view okay let me change the uh, view to top view again this is ucs click on ucs place it here make this horizontal make this vertical okay let me look at the isometric view now okay now let me go to the top view so let me take a line uh let the line be at 30 from here it's 12.5 okay 
now let me make a circle here this is circle circle of radius 5 now let me check whether I have made it right Let me remove all the construction lines. Okay. After that, what I'll do is I'll extrude this part using extrude option. You can extrude to any length. After extruding, go to subtract option. Select the object which you want and select the one which you want to subtract. Okay. So this is how you got the hole after getting the hole see this is the hole this is the hole now if you look at this see this is selecting means this is a separate part and this is a separate part but what we want is we want the entire component to be as a single component and for that what you have to do is you have to use another boolean operation that is union so see here is the union option solid union this and this type enter so now when you select this, it will get selected as a single component. So this is how we have uh, we have made the required component with the given dimensions. So this is the way how we make a 3D model. And uh, please practice this and let us do few more exercise problems on 3D modeling and learn this some more. I mean, let us gain some more knowledge on the same topic. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.